Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do um, a reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Okay, let's move this back. It means a lot. Uh, please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into this, Aquarius. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, we got three cards here, and this is for career and finance, love and romance, and this is how others see you, how people see you, how um, other people are viewing you and what you're doing, okay? So, for career and finance, we have the Ten of Wands. Love and romance, we have the Chariot. Okay. And how other people see you is the Two of Wands. So, very nice. All right. So, um, Aquarius, we'll start with career and finance. So, a lot is going on. There could be an everyday struggle. Um, you could just have a lot of work. Sometimes this card talks about cracking under the weight of your own success. So, having so much to do, being successful. Um, also, this talks about uh, having to pay for, you know, um, make a large purchase, maybe unexpectedly, a lot of money coming out. Um, also, doing a lot of work, not knowing where this is going to land you, where you're going to end up. Uh, you just jump in, you just do it. This could be overtime is what I'm hearing. Some of you could be working overtime. Again, doing a whole bunch of work, not knowing where this is really going to take you. You have an idea, but you're not know where you don't know where exactly you're going to land. What I was cha channeling off camera was um, good news about business, um, something that's going to help you declare your independence and your work ethic is strong, and um, you're being prudent with your money. And uh, you're doing the same thing over and over again, working really hard, trying to really see something through, uh, really make it get to kind of like a self-sustaining energy. Some of you are like business owners that work in your business. You don't have, you know, a number of workers or employees. Um, you could have a few employees. Some of you, you could be the employee. You are the owner and the worker. So, um this is what's going on in a uh, career and finance lots of work uh, lots of people wanting to patronize your business uh, you may need to get additional help maybe even hire employees um, there could be some transferring of money going from one account account to another there's like trying to keep everything in balance also you could be doing two things at the same time to make money uh, lots of a lot of work all on you is what I'm hearing everything is all on you of course for some of you who are business owners definitely it's all on you but we're going to get a card to clarify that um the chariot in love and romance so some of you could be dealing with the cancer if you're not then the chariot card is not the best card you want to see for love and romance because it talks about um self-centeredness you know that healthy level of selfishness you needing to see something through needing to persevere in your own life have some personal victory therefore you're not focused on love you're not focused on a relationship um, you're focused on maintaining this says maintaining your emotional and mental fortitude strength therefore you can see victory you can have victory personal victory achievement um taking a situation, a business, a relationship, a job, or whatever it may be, in a new direction. So you can, um, once again, have achievement. Uh, the chariot says that uh, all of, you know, everything right now, your emotions, your mental, is really just focused on you. You don't, there's no room for love. You know, this is progressing, progressing forward. Um forward movement you know for you this is uh, some of you focus on astrology uh, you're focused on maybe even the tarot you focus on learning something 
you, you're trying to make some mon monumental stride, you know, within your personal life. Therefore, love is taking a back seat. Uh, some of you are focused on losing weight, looking better, getting in control of your mental and emotional health. Some of you are going to practitioners, therapists, whomever. But but this is, I love this for you, Aquarius, because it just says you're focused on yourself right now for whatever reason. You know, uh, love and romance could have been very trying, taxing. You could have come out of some like twin flame, soulmate type of situation to where it didn't go in your favor or you didn't get what you wanted. You didn't get the desired outcome. Therefore, now the focus is on you and pushing forward. Some of you feel like you're the underdog in love. You, you're never chosen or you, you're always the best pick, but you're never chosen. Um, you come into a place of understanding that maybe some of these people that you love or you like, they are just dysfunctional and they like dysfunction. Therefore, they don't like you or they don't choose you because you're not offering dysfunction. Um, somebody's having a hard time getting over you or vice versa or it's mutual okay but uh, somebody's progressing forward this is you Aquarius and we'll pull a card on this how people are seeing you is the two of wands very good energy so they're seeing you in a place of um, making plans okay having financial freedom maybe you taking some knee jerk um, opportunity to start something new they're seeing you as understanding that the grass is greener on the other side. You don't need to stay still or stay put. Uh, you don't need to wait for. Um, you don't want to. They see you as not being an option also. Uh, maybe even taking yourself out of the fight. They see you as progressing. Finding, once again, financial stability between two different things that you're doing. Something that is active, that, that may even... Um, take an element of, of action, travel, movement, magic for some of you. Um, someone could see you as magical. You know, you just make things happen. They could see you as mysterious too. They don't exactly know what you're doing, but they know you're doing something. The two of wands on this card says planning. So they see you as planning, plotting, but you're really not letting you know everyone know exactly what you're doing you keep it something secret or you keep it an element of what you're doing secret that's what i'm getting for you let's let's start to clarify let's see what's going on here do i want to use this deck i might use a different deck let's use a different deck just to keep it interesting and see if we'll get some overlap all right let's see all right, so let's clarify the Ten of Wands in our career and finance. Do know that this is the fullness of this thing. You know, maybe of uh, doing so much work to get your money, to have money, to maintain money. This is going to end soon. With the Ten of would it being a Ten? The Ten talks about completion. It talks about a fullness or the fullness of um, something is to its capacity. So you could feel like you you are overworked. Um, you need to check in on your health, like fatigue, chronic fatigue. Some of you feel tired all the time. The Ten of Wands, the Ten of Wands in career and finance. Okay, they see the Three of Wands. So Aquarius, it seems as if you're trying to do something, you're trying to do a lot in a short amount of time, you know. Um, you're trying to achieve something big, okay? The three of wands. It's like you're trying to expand something. Um, some of you are trying to move, make a move, a physical move. Some of you are trying to get money to for real estate to move, expand. Uh, I heard colossal. Some of you are trying to be global in terms of your, your business. Or you definitely want to be national. You want to have a larger scope. You put something out there. You're waiting for to reap the rewards of it. You've planned it. You've created it, and then you're putting it out. And you're gonna. You're waiting for the profit to come in. Uh, you're waiting to see if something is profitable. You've done all of the work, and now you're waiting for. Of course, this card talks about your ships to come in. You're waiting for communication. Some of you are tired of doing all this work. You're waiting for communication. It could be in terms of legal, 
legal matters, communication that will bring you um, good news because you're getting good news. That's what I channeled off camera. Uh, communication that will allow you to celebrate or to go to friends and family and make an offer or or to move. I'm here move a lot. Wow, the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're definitely waiting for some type of money. The Knight of Pentacles typically talks about profit. Okay, so you're waiting for something to profit. I don't know if you have, you know, created something, put it out to the world, and now you're waiting for people to buy it. It looks like it's going to be successful. Uh, you're going to need help, maybe. Um, you're going to be tired. It's a lot, but you can handle it. Uh, this is the weight of your own success here. Something needs to be examined. Also, examine what you're doing. Make make sure you cross your T's, dot your eyes. Look, get get another set of eyes onto this. Maybe a professional with the Knight of Pentacles. This talks about a guardian angel. Also, um, you know, uh, looking over your work, looking over you, even in your some of you in your chronic fatigue state. You know, status. A guardian angel is there helping you, um, giving you um, strength. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles here. It also talks about um, uh, hardworking, persevering, yeah, um, persevering, yeah, moving forward. And it talks about maybe even boring or mundane work, but you're going to see some type of gain from it, some type of, again, the word profit. It just says stay put keep doing keep doing this thing whatever it is you're doing because you're it's going to turn over for you it's going to manifest for you the knight of pentacles or the pentacles talks about manifestation because that's the last phase okay so something's going to manifest for you and it could be very well an offer profit someone could offer you something um it's a long term long time coming Maybe you had to go through a very trying and taxing type of uh, procedure process. You had to, they had to look over this, look over that, go here, go there, and then actually have approve. You know, approve it, approval. You're going to get some type of approval. Let's see what's going on in love for you. You got the chariot. What's clarifying the chariot in love and romance? Love relationships, romance. This is a really good reading, Aquarius. Love relationship romance the four of cups yeah um some of you this is a more cancer energy this was the third deacon cancer so this will be the the last maybe late july cancer um so uh somebody's over it okay somebody is over the relationship they're over waiting they're over being looked over again looked over uh we talked about maybe the Aquarius not being chosen in a relationship. Someone could have rejected you, and now you're rejecting them is what I'm getting because you're coming up as the chariot. Um, you're over the games. The Three of Cups talks about, you know, the creation process, the dating, um, the games that we play, um, maybe being a part of a third party also somebody's over what somebody is offering it, it needs to be better it needs to be new or somebody just doesn't want to accept it um, somebody's also regretful remorseful and what they have done or what they didn't do somebody missed the opportunity missed the blessing that was before them they, they couldn't see it because of the other three cups they were focused on they didn't see what was being handed to them. Um, it's like, I just got the vision of maybe somebody setting up a row of four diamond rings, quote unquote diamond rings. You have to, and they tell you to determine, you know, which one do you want? All of them look the same, but all of them are not diamonds. There's only one diamond and you have to choose you have to decide you know which one is real which one is you know valuable and it seems as if maybe you were put in that situation Aquarius either you or the other person or you put someone else in that situation where somebody had choices they didn't choose the real the valuable they chose something else and they, they yeah they chose all the fakes um 
they, they couldn't see that something was very valuable. They couldn't see that this diamond here, this cup here was, is, was very valuable. Um, it was real, you know, so they chose the fake, they chose the falsehood. Let's see, what else can we get for that, for the love situation? So it just looks as if Aquarius has shifted the energy and said, you know what, I'm tired of being the, the, the last one standing here. I'm holding the bag because, um, you know, I'm offering something genuine and other people aren't. So Aquarius has said, you know, I'm just going to put all energy, time, effort into me. Let's clarify this. Wow, the four of pentacles. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus here too. This would be last deacon Taurus. Um, no, this is a Capricorn, I'm sorry. I always get Taurus from the four of pentacles. Um, so it looks as if some of you are shut down, okay? Some of you are shut down um, because somebody was trying to dominate the situation. Somebody was trying to keep you outside of their heart space. They wanted you in this one little place. They didn't want you to... Um, they didn't want you to get close. Um, and when they felt like you were getting close, they tried to dominate the situation by pushing you away or, or, or extracting themselves. Um, this was toxic. It may have even been stuck and stagnant at times. Like it, there was no growth. Like, okay, we've been dating for a year. Where is this going? Are we getting engaged? Are we moving in together? What are we doing? You know, is there any movement here? And, and this person purposely, you know, kept it at a place of no movement because that's where they were comfortable. They don't want to let you inside of their heart. Um, they knew how much you meant to them. They knew how valuable you were, but they didn't want to place that value on you. Or they didn't want to give you their heart. Um, yeah, there was also somebody being clingy. You know, I don't know if it's you Aquarius right now. Someone's being clingy because um, when someone won't let go, even though they've been friend zoned. Okay, someone won't let go, but even though they've been friend zoned is what I'm getting. Uh, there's so many messages coming. All right, so, um, yeah, somebody was very domineering. Um, they just tried to, they just tried to steer the relationship. They didn't want you to have any type of control. They may have even controlled it right down to when you guys would see each other, when you would hang out, when you would date, when you would, you know, talk to each other. This is somebody that definitely, um, they wanted to control the narrative on this relationship. They didn't want uh, you to uh, get close to them. Maybe for fear of seeing who they really were, that there was, there are deep seated issues with them that they haven't dealt with, dealt with. There could even be childhood trauma. Um, it could have something to do with a mother figure or lack thereof. Um, there's some issues here, or some feminine issues. Somebody wasn't nurtured, cared for, wasn't brought up in love. Therefore, they don't know how to. Um, interesting, Aquarius. Um, this could be you, could be the other person. All right, so how the other people, the world, is seeing you right now is the two of wands. So, Let's talk about that. So other people, they're seeing you as a two of wands. All right. Clarify the two of wands for the Aquarius Collective. Oh, 18 minutes. The six of pentacles. Very nice to see. They see you as giving, loving, um, generous, uh, oh, giving spirit, um, equality. They also see you as making money. You know, um, money comes in, money goes out. I mean, see, it's very balanced, fair. Um, there's like harmony in, in terms of what you do or how you bring in money. Um, they also could see you as coming out of being in need. Like you don't need anything. You're good. Maybe you're at a place where now you can give. Um, they see you as maybe you used to be on the other side of that. Like you were in need, you needed help, you needed to maybe a place to stay. Uh, you were destitute, you were desperate, whatever. But now they see you as the giver now. They see you as coming up. They see you as shining. 
all because of it's like Aquarius this was all by your hand you know like by what you did your sacrifice what you did with your money um, they see you as getting a second try they see you as building yourself up again one more card for how the world sees the Aquarius how does the world see the Aquarius how does the world see the Aquarius the power dynamic wow the power dynamic has shifted to six of wands they see you as victorious she's got her um, V earrings on for victory let's see if we can get some focus on this camera right All right, let's see. Yeah, all right, so it's coming in a little. All right. So, so anyway, um, she has V earrings on. Yeah, you guys can't see that. I gotta fix this. This camera costs enough money where it should be focusing. Okay, I'm going to fix that off camera and not waste you guys' time with that. Anyway, the, the how people see you is balance harmony um something you did okay this is also um this is work this is also you sharing your gifts people see you sharing your gifts you're using what is innately what was innately you know um given to you what you were born with you could be using your gifts and making money from it um again i'm getting business owner you could be like an empath or you could be a therapist a tarot card reader i don't know you're using some type of gift and you're making a lot of money with it they see you as victorious they see you as having a following you know people following you okay they see you as uh on your high horse okay um you're making something happen for yourself they see you strutting your stuff and walking off um, coming out of maybe um, the fight, the struggle, you know, to actually um, make this happen. They see you as winning, successful, maybe even getting help and success in your business, okay? They see you as, um, well, yeah, you won the battle, and the battle was, like, something was meant to keep you down. I don't know, there were several people talking about you, gossiping about you, against you something was meant to keep you down and a group of people were looking to keep you down looking to uh, hopefully that this was to your demise but they see you as victorious why do you get another six wow six of swords at the bottom of the deck so they definitely see you as overcoming toxic uh maybe even negative situations something that was meant to keep you bound because we know that you know that devil energy is about binding you know binding us they see you as coming out of debt they see you as paying off debts the six of pentacles can talk about paying off debts um they see you as moving vacationing uh they see you as moving away from previous hurt um they see you as getting the job that you want or doing what you want they see you being at mental peace there's a lot of calm and peace and stillness with you Aquarius, I'm going to leave you with, um, what am I going to leave you with? Okay, they said the Moonology card. I love the Moonology cards because, it's, and I used to do this, so I'm not going to, I'm not bashing anybody, but I love the Moonology, Moonology cards because I actually read the book. And when you read the book and you find out what the cards really mean, your readings, you know, it can take on a whole nother level. You can do a whole reading with the Moonology cards because now you know what they mean. But when, you know, as a reader, if you just take it out the box and you just, you know, and you kind of read the surface, you know, you know, you read what's on the, on the card and you kind of have that surface level understanding of the, of the card. Um, then you, I don't know, it's, it's like you're almost shortchanging yourself. So yeah, read the book. And I used to not read the book. I used to just, you know, kind of go off my intuition, wing it, but read the book. So my my um, up and coming readers out there, if you get uh, oracle cards, even if you get t the tarot cards, read the books that come with it. You know, even if you can't read them all, read a few pages, read the cards that you see coming out a lot. Read, read something. Okay, every day should be a learning process, right? Anyway.
All right, so let's see. What are we going to leave the Aquarius with? Wow, the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. Very nice. So, like, again, again, some of you are waiting for answers, waiting for uh, clarity. Uh, wow, very nice. Okay, look around the full moon and Libra. You're going to get a win win outcast. It's for a win win outcome is forecast. So, it looks like you're going to get communication. It's time for you to communicate something here, how you're feeling, what you're thinking. Um, some of you could be oversharing and you need to kind of pull back. Um, a win-win outcome is forecast. This is a yes answer. Also, this might be a new start in love for you, for some of you um, around the new moon, uh, the full moon in Libra. So we have the full moon in Libra coming up later this month with October 23rd or something like that. I don't know. Um, let's, I forgot what this means but so let's go to the book uh, full moon in Libra yeah um, yeah so you need to look at the other person's perspective and that's how you're gonna get that win-win outcome um, and it's time for you to make a firm decision do you want this or do you not this is all about love here because it's about starting a new relationship or making some important or making an existing relationship important but you have to change something about it okay and taking something to a new level of commitment um look after yourself but you know avoid being vain um and right now it's gonna be time for a makeover so some of you are thinking about doing your hair differently going to go get it styled yes go um and let go of things that are falling away from you it's okay if it's leaving you, let it go. Um, if a relationship is ending, you know, um, try not to fight it. And this also can refer, refer to your professional relationship. Um, you need to balance your ego, okay? So this is really good, really good. This is all about balance. Libra is about balance, okay? balance and harmony let's uh read the full moon in gemini so the full moon in gemini the answers you need are coming to you yeah someone's trying to flirt with you have you noticed don't be superficial and you need to laugh off the situation and just move on job applications have good prospects i said that it's like you're waiting for something waiting for you had to go through some process here um so this is good um, you need to talk to someone. The answers you need are coming. Um, the issue you're facing, it's going to come through a few conversations, you know, and maybe you'll get to some resolution. Um, if this is about love, then, yeah, flirt. If you're in the middle of an argument, then um, you might need to say less here, okay? Um, you have a very important conversation coming your way but stay calm and don't and say less you know if you are again something about oversharing and talking too much say less this is what i have for you aquarius um keep in mind that you can get your own reading like this at the website level um phone zoom sessions are 50 percent off today and tomorrow take advantage Okay, and um, you can always ask a question, one or two questions by texting the number below. Um, will I get this job? Will I hear back from this person? Um, should I accept this person? Uh, will my business be successful? Questions like that, you can always text uh, the number below, pay for your question and receive the answer to your question. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, okay, uh, where you can ask questions there too. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.